this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Terraform 1.5 feature, Config Driven Import, to import your existing cloud resources into your Terraform state to then be managed by Terraform. As of the release of Terraform 1.5, a new feature called the Config Driven Import, which introduces this new import block, has been introduced into Terraform. If you're coming from an older version of Terraform before 1.5, you'll know that importing was very tedious. It was brutal. You had to do one resource at a time, your state file got changed immediately, and then you had to go write your code for what you just imported. And it was this big mess. It was a monster of an effort. So now with Terraform 1.5 and the config driven import feature, we get a lot of benefits that help solve those issues, right? So for instance, we have this new import block and here we define the Terraform code for each resource and it will actually generate all the code. So we don't have to go back and write all that code manually. And then we don't have to modify the state when we run the import command. It'll generate, it'll run a plan from that code it generated, and then we can see if it'll work or not. And then all we have to do is run a Terraform apply, and bam, resources imported. And instead of re importing resources one by one by one, we can actually do a bulk import by defining all of them in import box at once. And we can do this all in one command at one time. <gasps> so to use this new feature, I've created some AWS resources manually. I've created an S3 bucket and I've created an EC2 instance. So we're gonna go over how to import both of these into our Terraform code at the same time using the new feature. So over here in my Terraform code, I've created a directory and I've created a main.tf. And I've already defined my AWS provider and my Terraform version. So I've set the required version to greater than or equal to 1.5 because we need to have Terraform 1.5 installed in order to use the new config driven import feature and the import block. So to get started, I'm gonna run a Terraform version just check the version I'm on as the one I expect, and I am. I told the AWS provider what region to use, and I've already gone ahead and authenticated to AWS with the AWS CLI. To start, we need an import block for each resource, because as I stated before, import blocks do not support for each or count uh, parameters. So if we have two EC2 instances, we need two import blocks, one for each instance. So each import block contains two things. We have an ID that we need to provide. This is the ID of the resource that we're trying to import. And then we need a two attribute parameter. And this is the address of the resource, the address name of the resource once it gets created. So when it generates our configuration and when it creates imports our resource into the state file, what will be the name of that resource? So I'll start with the instance here. So I've got my instance and I'll copy the ID. And then the two, and I believe for uh, AWS instances, it's AWS instance dot and then whatever I want to name it and I'll name it imported instance so this is the name of the resource in the provider documentation so I'll always check the provider documentation so next I'll import ooh, import the s3 bucket that exists so I'll do ID equals and the s3 bucket ID is always the name of the bucket so I'll copy that come back to my code and then the two block, I believe S3 buckets are AWS S3 bucket dot, and then I'll name it imported bucket. And that's it. So I should be able to import these two resources now. So I'll start with a Terraform init the way we normally would when we do a plan and apply. We start with an init, download our providers. Once that init is done, we're going to run a Terraform plan the way we're normally used to, but now we're going to use a new uh, flag that was introduced called generate config out equals. And then we have to give the name of the file that will be created. So this will be a .tf file. So we'll do generated output.tf. And now when I run this, you'll see generated output.tf will get created on the side here. Now you'll notice I got some errors, right? So let's let's go over this real quick. So I ran the plan and it said preparing to import refreshing state with my new resources, right? And then it gave me my plan and then it said one to import. And the reason it's doing that is because I've got some errors here. I should be importing two things, but it's telling me I'm only importing one. Well, I need to resolve these errors before I can uh, import both of them. So it's telling me that AWS instance imported instance um, line 14, IPv6 address count conflicts with IPv6 addresses, and then IPv6 addresses conflicts with 
IPv6 address count. So if I come over to generated output, this is the code that was created. So it imported my resources and it generates every single attribute. So every valid attribute for a resource that's in the provider documentation for that resource will be generated. A lot of these we don't see generally in our Terraform code because we only uh, edit what we want and then we take the default values to the rest. So what you need to do is you need to go through here and prune anything you don't care about to make your code base smaller, more readable, and you need to resolve these issues. So right here, it's telling me line 14 and 15. Okay. Uh, and it's saying something about IPv. Okay. So one of these two, these two do, cannot both be defined according to this resource. So I need to delete one of them. So I'm just going to delete IPv6 addresses. And now I'm going to go ahead and run a Terraform plan. And we can see that because I've resolved those errors, I now plan to import uh, two resources. So I'm going to go ahead and run a Terraform apply. I'll confirm and apply complete resources to imported. So now if I look at my state file, I can see that my two resources have successfully been imported. So now any, any additional Terraform applies should tell me that no changes are needed. Thank you.